Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com, except today we're doing another whiskey review. Um, from time to time, I like to dabble in whiskey and bourbon. It's just kind of a natural progression from beer. Um, so many elements of the beer world kind of flow over into the spirit world. Spirit the bourbons, the whiskeys. Um, so when I see a new one or an interesting one that I want to try, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to try it here on the channel, let you guys know what I think about it. I'm not a connoisseur by any means of whiskeys or bourbons. I do enjoy them. I'm starting to, I've, I've been reading about them, starting to pick more out of them. Um, and I thought this sounded like a very, very interesting one. This, my friends, is Whistle Pig Old World. It's a straight rye whiskey aged, aged for 12 years. Um, it's distilled in Indiana, but it's actually aged in Vermont, which is where I guess it's Whistle Pig Farm is. Now, What's so special about this one? Um, and I also want to mention, I picked this one up at qualityliquorstore.com. You can have it shipped directly to you if you can't get their stuff, um, which I can't. I looked. Um, so what they did, what Whistle Pig did, I believe over the last maybe year or three years, I can't, I wasn't 100% sure, they released their standard whiskey, except it was finished in either a Madeira barrel, a French Sauternes barrel, or a port barrel. Um, so it would just be one barrel variation, like three ver three different versions, each a single variation of that of the the the, uh, the barrel. This one though, they blended in all three of those. So it's 63% Madeira barrel, 30% French French Sauternes, and 7% Port. Comes in at 43% alcohol by volume. So this is kind of a you know the conglomeration of all of the work that they put into those single variations. They blended it um, to their specific taste at the, the farm in Vermont um, and got the old world. Again, you can sold at qualityliquorstore.com. So let me get the aroma on this one. And yes, I'm using two pieces of ice. I apologize. That's just what I do. I know it's not a purest thing, but it's what I do. Yeah, immediately. You're getting those barrel characteristics. It's a big cranberry flavor, um, vanilla, oakiness, that, that spicy rye, um, kind of uh, peppery almost smell coming off of it. Definitely getting the port, a big kind of dark fruit component, maybe a little bit of cherry. Again, a big cranberry characteristic, a little bit of orange in this one. Just a really, really intense smelling rye whiskey. So the taste, cheers. Oh, wow. It's so incredibly smooth. Um, sometimes for me, rye whiskey can be a little bit jarring. A little bit, you know, that, that initial hit is really, really spicy, really hot. This one, the barrel aging has just done so much for it. Immediately, front of the tongue, um, like winter fruit, uh, cranberries, um, a little bit of a grapiness to it. Um, Again, a cherry, like a tart cherry type of flavor. Middle of the mouth, you get big oakiness, vanilla, the rye just starts to open up, big kind of pepper spiciness, a little bit of a uh, kind of a uh, caramel maltiness in there. Again, a little bit of a char characteristic vanilla. Um, and that port, the port just starts to come. It's only 7%, but it's definitely there. Dark cherries, plums, a little bit of raisin kind of characteristic in there. Um, in the aftertaste, again, more of, it's weird, you get more of a citrus kind of flavor, a little bit of orange, some lemon zest uh, in there as well. Lots of cranberry coming through in the back. That, that rye whiskey, really, the rye actually brings a lot of those fruits forward. Um, God, wow, yeah, a lot of lemon in the back, some orange peel, some sweet candied orange peel, some vanilla in the back there. It's just incredibly smooth and super complex. It ranges, you know, from citrus fruit to winter fruits to, to oakiness to caramel. It's just all over the place. It's an intense, intense rye whiskey, um, but those different barrels just bring so many different components to the finished product. It's just absolutely awesome. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna do a final verdict on these, on the my whiskeys and bourbon until I build up a little bit more of a repra, uh, kind of a, a repertoire or kind of a catalog, um, just so I get more comfortable with them. But I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this one again. This is the Whistle Pig Old World, which is the blend of the, the Madeira, French Sautenes, and the Port Barrel versions, 43% alcohol by volume. And again, you can pick this one up at qualityliquorstore.com. This is a little bit on the pricey side. Um, it ranges between about $130 and $150, but it is worth every single penny. It is just so in, much more incredibly complex than a st standard rye whiskey. It's smooth, it's spicy, it's got some sweetness to it, it's got big oakiness to it. You definitely get all the different flavors from the barrels. You get the, the port fruitiness, you get some cranberry, you get a red wine 
type of characteristic. You get some citrus, some vanilla, some oakiness. If you've never had a whiskey blended in various types of bottles, or excuse me, barrels, this is the one to get. It's just absolutely fantastic, easy to drink, smooth, not too much heat. It just immediately hits you with flavor. It's just awesome, awesome stuff. And I can't say enough great things about it. This is by far the best rye whiskey I've had. Haven't had too many, but I've had enough to know like what's a good one, what's not such a good one. And this one just has so many di different dimensions to it that I absolutely love it. It's awesome stuff. Definitely pick this one up. And remember folks, life's too short. Drink a great whiskey, bourbon, or beer. Cheers.